Hello and welcome to all the new viewers of this channel. Today we're going to talk about bowel cancer. A friend of mine passed away from bowel cancer in October last year, aged just 42 years old. She was someone who I would describe as a sensitive person and sensitive people appear to be the most vulnerable to mycotoxins and their impacts on our health. An ex-colleague of mine also died five years ago from bowel cancer, aged just 38 years. An ex-trainer of mine also passed away last year. He was in his early 40s and also died from bowel cancer. And my husband's mother also died from bowel cancer at age just 47. So what is causing all these people to die at such a young age? Now something I have um, talked about previously is how um, being vulnerable to mycotoxins is a genetic um, a genetic thing. So um, there is a genetic mutation, which means that the body does not recognize mycotoxins as waste, therefore they stay in the body, causing health problems. And dependent on your genetic makeup will uh, be a map as to how you will be impacted by these mycotoxins. I thought I would have a look into whether bowel cancer could be something that is being impacted by mould. Because it is something that is in my husband's family and as he, like us, um, is sensitive to mould and has had high levels of mycotoxins in his body, it seemed like something worth looking into. And I didn't have to look too far. There was a study published in 2023, which was uh, noted by many different um, newspapers. And I'm going to read to you the article that came out um, in May of last year by the Daily Mail. But you can read about the same study in multiple different newspapers from around the world. The study is titled, Is this why so many young people are getting colorectal cancer? Doctors say a fungus could be to blame. Doctors may have moved one step closer to revealing why colorectal cancer cases are surging among younger adults. A mysterious rise in cases among under 55s has sparked concerns in medical circles, especially as the cancer is being spotted among healthy youngsters who run marathons and watch their diet. Now doctor, doctors at Georgetown University in Washington DC say the uptick could be linked to changes in young people's gut microbiomes. They found that tumours from younger patients were more likely to contain the fungus cladosporium when compared to older patients. The fungus is only occasionally found in the human gut where it is suspected to be an invader that does not aid in digestion. The fungus is also known to cause infections of the skin and nails. Colorectal cancer is the third most common cancer diagnosed in the United States, according to the National Cancer Institute, and it's surging in young people. About 153,000 Americans are diagnosed with colorectal cancer every year, of which 19,550 are under 50 years old. Rates in the under 55s have doubled since the 1990s, 
which is raising concern among health professionals. A 2023 report from the American Cancer Society, for example, states that the rate of colorectal cancer in Americans younger than age 55 increased from 11% of all cases in 1995 to 20% in 2019. Dr. Benjamin Weinberg, a gastrointestinal cancer expert, told, told Axios, a lot of people blame obesity and diabetes. But we have these patients who run marathons and they eat healthy diets and they've got very advanced colorectal cancer. For the study, scientists looked at tissue samples from 63 patients aged either under 45 years old or over 65 years. They checked the DNA of microorganisms in the tumours to look for any differences in the gut microbiome. This revealed that cladosporium was more common in the tumours of young patients than the older individuals. The researchers also evaluated bacterial factors that could be in play. There was no difference for most bacteria, such as Fusobacterium nucleatum, which was found about 30% of the time in both groups. Other bacteria were also shown to be more common in the tumours of older patients. It's still unclear how cladosporium could lead to this increase in cases but the researchers think it could damage cell DNA. This could, make, this could turn them into cancerous cells. The results are to be presented next week at the American Society of Clinical Oncology's annual meeting in Chicago, Illinois. The researchers say their paper may have brought doctors one step closer to understanding what is causing the rise in colorectal cancer cases. Dr. Weinberger added, there was some sort of exposure we think in the 1970s or 1980s, maybe everybody started taking antibiotics for ear infections or they stopped breastfeeding. Okay, pause for a moment. That was also around the time that we had the installation of um, central heating. And central heating if left on high, can cause humidity. Now, humidity is water, and water damage causes mold. Something happened where this cohort is seeing this rise, and we don't know why. Previous theories have suggested that unhealthy diets, alcohol consumption, and the rise of sed sedentary lifestyles could be behind the uptick. But scientists say these do not explain why other cancers have remained flat or continued to tumble in under 55s at the same time. Tumours can contain bacteria and can also contain fungi, although these are not typically present. Now once mould gets in, bacteria comes it's like they just build on top of each other. You get your mold, you get the, your yeast, you get your bacteria, you get bacterial infections, you get parasite infections. Once mold is in, any of the other nasties, you, you just become vulnerable to them. Part of the surge could be that people are more likely to have their colorectal cancer detected at a later stage when it is more difficult to treat. A 2017 study in the journal Clinical Gastroenterology and Hepto Hep Hepatology found that people under 50 tended to wait two months longer to seek medical attention after first noticing symptoms than those over 50. Amid concerns over the rising rate among younger adults, in 2021, the US Preventative Services Task Force lowered the screening age from 50 to 45 years old. So, 
If you or someone you know happens to be suffering from bowel cancer, it's always worth considering taking a mycotoxin test to see if you have levels of toxicity in your body. I'll put an example of the mycotoxin test in the description um, and then you can use that to search for one locally. If you are vulnerable to mould, it's impossible to heal if you are living in an environment that is making you sick. I hope this video has been helpful. Thank you for listening and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.